Good morning, my Abundant Life Amazing Grace friends. Um, I've been coming to you today to talk about prayer. Prayer is the um, theme probably of this month and who knows what else that um, God will have for me to give to you, Lord, you guys, because the Lord has just been feeling, filling my life with the call to prayer. Um, I've always prayed. I've kept prayer journals and I've kept what I feel like are the Lord's answers to my prayers um, since I was just a brand new Christian. <laughs> One lady told me she went to her prayer closet and I took that quite literally when I was young and I had little kids and so I would hide in my closet and um, just steal away seconds of prayer and I'd have a journal there and I'd sit down and write in those journals and write out my prayers and then write out those still small voice that I could hear God answering the prayers in my heart. And um, that built my faith and built my faith stronger that I practiced listening to God's voice when I was very young Christian in my early 20s when my kids were just babies. And so now, you know, I will be walking around and praying just as I walk to the store and or as I drive my car, or if I go see a friend, or you know, whatever I'm doing, even when I'm sitting and writing or thinking about what I'm gonna say to you guys or what God's given me, I'm always like in a prayerful tone, like just having conversation with the Lord, just talking with Him, just saying, oh Lord, I love you. And God always answers back, I love you in my spirit. He loved us first. <laughs> Um, but what I want to talk about is to let you know that God, when God wants something, he will just continue to echo that in your life. Um, I'm reading or doing the Bible study, the sacred echo. Um, it talks about how God echoes things over and over again when we're at, for answers to prayer. I'm reading the book Fervent. Um, this one talks about having a battle plan and a strategy for prayer and I'm reading the circle maker this is a small version of it making circles around your children and um, I have grown children now and grandchildren but it is important to pray for your children the most blessed thing you can do um, in this book he talks about how prayers last forever even once we're gone our prayers are still honored by the Lord prayer opens up blessings for our land, for our people, for our lives, for our ministries, for our work, whatever God has for you and his will, prayer opens up that blessing and God pours out his blessings on us. I'm also doing spiritual warfare study. Um, and in that, God has been talking to me about that I am to be a watchman on the wall. Um, it just amazes me um, what I mostly use scripture to talk to you guys about is out of the secret power of praying God's word um, this is I mean not praying God's word speaking God's word we need to be speaking the word of God out loud it is powerful God's word has power inherent in it another thing that reminds me of prayer is my beautiful daughter-in-law who's also um, the editor of my blog, Krista, um, we were out together and she grabbed something for me and she said, I got you a gift. And I didn't even see when she got it. But it's this beautiful little plaque that I keep on my desk. And it says, um, pray, pray about everything and worry about nothing. God knows I need this reminder. And I know he led her to buy it for me. And I thank God for my beautiful daughter-in-law, for my kids, for my daughter Brooke and my son and Brandon and my son La Drew and my beautiful granddaughter Tatum and the baby to be that's in my daughter's tummy. All those blessings of generations to come. Um, so God is just reminding me to pray. And I wrote in that pray first on my blog and if you haven't had a chance to read it read it because we need to pray first about everything we do even if it's just the name Jesus 
let's pray first in what we do. Um, prayer is so important. I just, I just feel like God is just saying, pray, pray, pray. You know, he has so many blessings for us and we forget to ask. We don't, we fail to ask. Uh, pray, pray for your family, pray for your friends, pray for this country, pray for our leaders. Pray, God loves you, he's there and he wants to answer you. I'm gonna leave you with a couple of scriptures on prayer. I had them right here and it's uh, moved since I showed you my book. Okay, the first one says, this is Psalms 145, 18 through 19. The Lord is near to me. All who call, call upon him, to all who call upon him sincerely and in truth. He will fulfill the desires of those who reverently and worshipfully feel, fear him. He will also hear their cry and save them. That's Psalms 145, 19. Here's Hebrews 4, 16. I will fearlessly and confidently and boldly draw near to the throne of God, the throne of God's unmerited favor to sinners, that I may receive mercy for my failures and find grace to help in good times for every need that which is appropriate help, well-timed help, coming just when I need it. That's the amplified version of Hebrews 4.16. We can draw near to God through prayer. He wants us to just commune with him constantly. Draw near, my friends. Draw near to him. Ask him boldly. Ask him bold things. Um, don't just give general prayers, but boldly ask him encircle those prayers, fervently ask those prayers. God will answer them. It may be no, because he may find a better way to answer that prayer. He will answer them above and beyond our wildest dreams. But when we put down, like write down our prayers, or we write, we keep coming back to those prayers, we keep asking, um, God will answer. In one way or another, he's going to answer yes or he's going to answer no. But no matter what, we can have hope and know that no matter what he does, it's for our good and for his glory. So I'm going to ask you guys, please pray for me in this ministry. I feel like God has, has put in my heart to start a ministry, online ministry, AboundantLifeAmazingGrace.com, and a Facebook and a YouTube channel. And so, Lord, please pray for me that God will bless this, that people will be touched, people will be saved, people will be discipled through this ministry, and that God will speak through me and be honored. That's all I care about. I want God to be honored. I want him, more people to know him in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. If you have a prayer request, please leave it below that I might be able to pray for you and please keep me in your prayers. Share this if it's been touched, if you've touched, been touched by it, sorry. And um, just pass it on, just pass it on. And just more than anything, pray. Pray to the Lord, stand still and see what he will do in Jesus name. Thank you, love you, see you next time.